this one's fucking hilarious. It's hilarious. There's channel peak prosperity. Video coronavirus listening to and rebuting the critics. <coughs> I'm going to go back a bit. For 499 COVID-19 deaths in right. the this U.S. Bit? And again, anybody who died before testing was done didn't get recorded, okay? If our surmise of 6 million cases is accurate, surmise, if, if, surmise, if, surmise, if, surmise, <laughs> that's a mortality rate of 0.01%. Assuming a two-week lag between oh, infection and death, this is one-tenth of the flu mortality rate of 0.1%. Such a low death rate would be cause for optimism. Oh, my God, how did this make it past the editors at the Wall Street Journal? Uh, yeah. How did that make it past the editors at the Wall Street Journal, Mr. Prosperity? Well, you know, um, the Wall Street Journal has a history of lying and giving fake made-up data, you know, like they did with PewDiePie a few years ago when they slandered and harassed him and, and got his YouTube Red series canceled. So, um, th to me, you know, a, a gamer who's uh, been there when the, uh, the bitches at the Wall Street Journal, you know, first started attacking gaming again, like they did back in the 90s, yeah, and I was there for that too. So, so watching watching you go over this that came out of the Wall Street Journal, this bullshit article of fuckwitted moronicism, and you know call them out on their bullshit by saying how did that get past their editors? It's nothing new to me. <laughs> it's it's fucking laughable. Yeah. Um. So I have to propose the uh the question to you again mr prosperity first time here yeah get the fuck out of this uh area of youtube it's reserved for gamers such as myself okay yeah you you want to start uh getting into fights with the uh the assholes in charge who are lying on on people yeah get the fuck out of this area of youtube it's reserved for us gamers We've been fighting it the longest, and you know we don't we don't want your kind here. We don't take too kindly to people strong arming their way into being a minority in our group, our bracket of YouTube. So ever so kindly, fuck right off. Yeah, stop stop calling out the assholes. And yeah, that that entire dissertation from me is sarcastic satirical parody. Yeah, the whole bit about telling you to fuck right off. That's that's exactly what it is. Because I'm trying to drive a point for everyone. And I'm going to continue to drive that point. It's that the current assholes in charge, the shadow government as they're called, which is really just the corporatocracy that's in charge of everything, the corporate fucks who own all the money, who own all the companies, and they don't give a fuck about you. This is nothing new. This is old news, and it's being rehashed again because nobody, you know, no guy manned the fuck up, grew a fucking pair of balls, and said, hey, fuck you. It's time for you to go the fuck away, you corrupt little bitch. It's time for me to live my own fucking life free of your bullshit. No, nobody did that. But hey, give me a minute. I'm gonna show you something. I'm planning to... Fucking, uh... <sighs> to mail... <laughs> in... Or email in.
Yeah, to the, the Supreme Court justice motherfuckers. And any others that it may concern. I, I've, I've got a lot to say here. I'm just going to scroll through this. Th this is quite a bit. I included some links and some bullet points and whatnot. And you can see there's there's quite a bit of stuff here. It's uh, seven pages worth of, hey, your system is corrupt. Here's a laundry list of bullshit. Uh, basically what I'm saying here is I'm going to give you this ultimatum just like you give every American the ultimatum. Yeah, here's the ultimatum. Uh, yeah, because of this high treason you're committing, you know, all these bullshit rules that blatantly and directly violate everyone's constitutional, civil, and unalienable rights. Yeah, because of that shit, I, you know, seven pages, you think, oh, that's a lot. No, no, no. That's just a very, very tiny number of examples. There's a lot more than just that tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg. So I'm going to mail that in. Or email that in. Come to think of it. I emailed it to someone to print it out for me. So that I could mail it in. And I actually uh, attempted to... No, oh, what the fuck. Oh, yeah. I submitted a request at the uh, supremecourt.gov site asking them, hey, uh, give me an email. You know, instead of me sending in a physical copy of uh, some paperwork that's probably going to be handled by people who may or may not have this new virus going around, uh, give me a, a, an email. So I can just send this document to you and we can get this shit show on the road and to be honest you know it, it is a shit show and this is the perfect time to instigate a shit show it's gonna be hilarious to see if anything comes of this, it's going to be fucking hilarious. But in all honesty, I know exactly what I'm instigating. I know all the ramifications. And high treason is no fucking joke. And yes, it, 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 everyone has been blissfully ignorant. That's why I say nigger. It, it, look it up. Noun. An ignorant person. I'm not using it for the derogative street slang. Not at this moment. Everyone has been willfully ignorant. The worst kind of nigger. Doesn't matter what color your skin is. Everybody's been willfully ignorant and ignored the assholes in charge parading over their rights at every level of their rights. While the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. And there's been loads of documentaries over the years, over the decades. Just loads of them. But anyway, all of this ties in to a, a single theme. The corrupt assholes in charge never were capable of being leaders. Because being a leader is not a job that you sit on your ass and get paid for. It is a heavy, immense burden and a responsibility. And if you can't handle that, if you think that, you know, being a, a senator or some shit, you know, state senator or um, a fucking elected official such as a judge or, or fucking um, sheriff or a president means that you need to get paid for it, you're fucking delusional. You're out of your fucking mind. Being a leader is a burden and a responsibility. It's not a job. 
doing what's right because it's what's right is not a job. It's doing what the fuck is right. And why do I say it that way? K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, I, I quote uh, another YouTuber saying that. And he quotes it from uh, probably the guy who actually first said it and, you know, was documented saying it. But anyway, keeping everything as simple as possible moving forward. Keeping everything as simple as possible is what needs to be done. Because it's what the fuck is needed to be done. All this bullshit, convoluted political jargon, all this bullshit, convoluted, nonsensical whimsy about contracts and shit just to be alive, paying taxes, paying the people in charge just because you exist, that's just racketeering with extra steps involved. Well, at least the Mafia was honest about it. Pay us money or we'll beat you the fuck up. You know what the United States government does? They say pay us money because you exist or we'll arrest you, throw you in jail, and maybe other people will beat you up. Maybe they won't, but you all know the truth. They will. Ask, uh, what is it? After prison, after prison show. After prison Joe. Ask him. He'll tell you flat out. Yeah. They, they beat you up in prison. They will beat you the fuck up. They'll tell you flat out, honestly, and blatantly. They will beat your fucking ass up. They don't give a shit about you in prison. And looking at it mathematically, prison is an all if null variation of society holistically. What do people do in prison? They fuck each other over. They kill each other. What are people doing in society here out of prison well, same damn shit it's just spaced out further apart so it, it looks like it's less than it really is but it's the exact same damn thing at the exact same damn rate there's no no fucking difference hey did that sink in enough hopefully that sank in enough Anyway, till next time, just fuck right off.